So next, let's move on to the past simple tense. But uh, before that, I want you guys to understand this aspect of grammar. Now, when we talk about verbs, there are two types of verbs. Regular and then we have the irregular. Regular verbs are those verbs that form their past form by adding an ed. Okay, so let's take the regular verb talk. The past tense becomes talked. So I talk to you every day and we talked last night. Whereas irregular verbs, they form their past uh, forms by not adding an ed but with a completely new or different word. Let's take the word go. The word go that is the infinitive form has the past form went and the past participle form of this verb is gone. So we have go, went and we have gone. So Regular verbs that form their past forms by adding an ed and irregular verbs do not do that. They form their past uh, forms by a completely different word. So let's look at the past simple or the simple past tense here. When do we use the simple past or past simple tense? We use it when we talk about completed actions in the past. Doesn't this sound similar to you? We spoke about the same thing while learning about the present perfect tense, completed actions in the past. So what is the difference between the two? The difference is in the past simple tense, we use or we have the adverbs of past time. So we have a specific time here, adverbs of past time, past time. Time or a specific time or a definite time is mentioned in the past simple tense sentences. Specific time. Okay. Let's just look at its formulation. Formulation. The first sentence is I played tennis. I played tennis. I is the subject plus the V2 form of the verb the past form and plus the object. So we have, I played tennis, you played tennis, he or she played tennis, we played tennis and they played tennis. Now let's understand the past simple tense better with the help of these example sentences. Let's look at the first sentence. I studied three sections last night. So we have so this is a completed action. I have already finished uh, studying uh, three sections. And when did I do it? I did it last night. So this is, you know, a specific time is mentioned here. Wait. Specific time. Let's look at the second sentence. She just came back. Is this correct? Well, this sentence is pretty commonly used uh, in American English. She just came back, but grammatically, it's incorrect. I'll tell you why. Because here do we have a specific time expression? No, we do not. And therefore, according to the rule, we'll use the present perfect tense here and not the past simple. So it would be, she has just come back. Let's look at the next sentence. I have received the letter a week ago. Correct? Incorrect? Yes, you got that one. So, since the time expression or an adverb of past time a week ago is used, we cannot use it in the present perfect tense. We have to use it in the correct. We have to use it in the past simple tense. So, it would be, I received a letter a week ago. 
ago. Let's look at the timeline of the past simple tense. It's pretty simple. This is our timeline. This is the past. This is the present. And this is our future. So, an action completed in the past. And that is how we denote the past simple tense on the timeline. An action completed in the past with specific time. Which is here. So, when I use, I studied three sections last night. This is last night. So, this is specific time. Okay. And adverbs of past time. Okay. So, major takeaways from the past simple tense. It is used for completed actions in the past but with definite time expressions and a specific time is given when we use the past simple tense. Please make sure that you do not make these mistakes. When the past adverb is given here, do not use it with the present perfect tense. Also, uh, remember the thing that I told you about the regular and the irregular verbs. Please go through the irregular verbs, uh, you know, in a grammar book or we, uh, we might have something on top uh, that you all can refer. And so that's it for the past simple tense. Now let's just move on to our next tense which is the past continuous tense.